Al rejoins us this morning. I guess we're looking at a pretty big machine this week. No question, John. We uh, went to southwestern Michigan last week for the 28th annual River Valley Power and Antique Show. Now, this oversized Alice Chalmers was on display along with many others. The owner of this mega machine says the tires alone cost him nearly $1,400. I got a Ford W305, and uh, this is Alice Chalmer. It was uh, built in uh, December of 83 or January of 84, so it's, it's either 84 or, or late 83. It's a 305 horsepower tractor, and there was 475 of these tractors built, uh, produced out of Alice Chalmer. Pretty decent old tractor, so. And we, and we still use it in our tillage operation of, of today. And uh, just like most of these four-wheel drives, we all run them out in the field. We farm about 300 acres of ground between Three Oaks and Sawyer. My grandpa started out with Alice Charmer back years ago. My dad took over and, and ran Alice, and then we decided that we would grow, and we've grown a lot bigger than what they have through the Alice Chalmer tractors. This model they did not build in Laporte. I think it was built probably up in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I do believe that's where this tractor was not built over there. Uh, this one tractor here has got 305 horse. This is the biggest Alice Chalmer that that uh, uh, that Alice built, biggest tractor that Alice built. It's uh, one of the last ones of the models that they built. This is pretty much how it come. Uh, we did do some uh, light engine work through the last winter uh, be before we could use it this spring. Uh, we had a couple cylinder head problems with it, but we got that fixed up and it seems to be working out good for us. It's 741 cubic inch diesel motor, and that's that's as big as that Alice built. So, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a it's got quite a bit of power for the tractor. 